Hi guys, it's Sarah from 190. Welcome back to the channel. Today I'll be finishing up a little bit more of my virtual pinball machine. This is episode 6. Check out the previous videos. This is a plunger I ordered from eBay and it came in. It's a digital plunger for a virtual pinball and you can see it was uh, 3D printed the parts and it was already put together when I got it so it's a very simple contraption you pull it back and it presses a little button inside uh, which triggers the USB output and we're gonna hook this up today so stick around hit the like button and subscribe you guys because I'm gonna go all the way with this thing we have a lock bar as well this is as you know if you don't know chickadoo it's a lock bar and you put it on the front of your pinball machine and it will actually uh, make it look good and it will hold the glass in place it's something you'll be leaning on most of the time so it needs to be quite sturdy so it's made out of metal I also got this from eBay so eBay is where you get a lock bar I literally just typed in lock bar in eBay and I got this for $35 it's super cheap. It's, you're not going to get it cheaper than that, you guys. They're usually 200 to $300. <coughs> I mean, including shipping as well. Excuse me. This is a lock bar. Let me lock it on for you right now. Let's see if it fits, alright? This is a moment of truth. Let's see if it... F oh my god, are you kidding me? It fits 100%. It's 22 inches long, I believe. And therefore, it should have fit perfect, and it does. It's probably a, a minute little atmospherical distance at about two millimeters. But anyway, we're gonna put felt down, and I did that, and it was great. And it's super staunch right now. Here's the plunger once again. We're gonna we're gonna drill holes and put it in real quick. And that's how we heat up our tucker in the desert. I nearly caught fire, you guys. Probably not. All right, let's vacuum up. We're gonna clean. We're gonna clean all this up, you guys. If if I have to do it, you guys have to sit through it too. No point in fast forwarding it because it'll be over soon. Any second now. You never know when, so you probably could have fast forwarded it a little bit, but this could go on for hours. You know what? This could go on for a long time, so better not fast forward because it might end any second now. We're about to go to the next scene. Just kidding, here we go. Next scene. Nope, hey, we're still playing this. So yeah, we're cleaning together, guys. Responsibility. This is what it's like. Not everything's fun and games, you fiddlers. Sometimes you've got to find time to phylactuate, which is a word that means functuate. We need to cause some feng shui and we're going to clean up a little bit, make make it all nice, get rid of the dust particles. Alright, just kidding. We're coming to the next scene. Should have probably fast forwarded it. Maybe that would have been a good deal. It's too late. Now you might as well just stick around. So how you guys been? It's not all... How you guys been? So... We're about to go to the next scene right now. Here we go. You know what? This is a much faster. I'm having a good time with this. Good thing you didn't fast forward, you would have missed the beauty of the robots helping the humankind. This is amazing. Get what the f get the fuck off, cunt. Alright, so I'm back and we're gonna put this plunger device. A fantastic device, by the way, Mr. eBay man. I might put a link in the description on my last video of where I got all these pieces. I'm so nervous right now, you can probably see me shaking. Alright, so I'm about to put this in, and as you can see, no, no, it doesn't fit. This reminds me of the time David Bowie came to me in a dream and said, No! Sorry from turn back! Turn back before it's too late! Uh, but I just kept pushing on, guys, and look how far I've come. Turn back, Seraphim! Turn back before it's too late! 
Well, I just simply stood there and looked at him and said, you've got no power over me, David. You have no power over me. Do you see that camera shot? It went straight through the hole. Can your camera do that? All right, we're going to put the plunger through the hole. All right, this is probably the point in which you fast forwarded and uh, we're actually going to continue in. So I'm going to put the cord into the hole like so. And the plunger fits perfectly. There we go. So we'll just get that wire in there. Um, don't worry about my nails, guys. I play the guitar, so I need them. I like to have them long uh, to, strum a, to strum a beat. Look how big the thumb one is. That's for the top D threat. That's for the D string, I mean. So. So we have, uh, we're going to have to drill some holes so we can attach the plunger, you guys. So we're going to need a really thin, a really small one of these drill bits. So I'm going to start off super small, and then I'm going to work my way up, probably three sizes, uh, to the size I need. So let's do that real quick. Okay, so we've done that. Everything seems to fit nice and snug. I'm now putting the, the screws in. And uh, here we go. We're just putting the screw in here using a device that I like to call a screwdriver. Screwing it in. So yeah, you can see that this plunger looks great in here and the lock bar as well. And look how, you can see it's been 3D printed, 3D printed, Let's see the lines going down. Uh, I could smooth that out with some sandpaper, I might do that. Um, all right guys, let's go upstairs and get some uh, software into this thing. I have uh, FX tables and FX2 tables. Look at that, guys. Look at the contraption. And I also have um, arcade, pinball arcade tables and Zachariah tables. And as you know, we also have a Seraphim table. So if you were around last week, you may have seen it. If not, check out the video. There's a link. And uh, yeah, go check that out. It's got cabinet mode. So here's all my files here that I'm just putting across onto a USB stick. So when I get the new computer, I'm basically going to shove the USB stick in, upload most of the tables, then I'm going to download Steam and uh, sign in basically, and I should have all my tables. This is the one I did. Uh, if you wanted to play this, it's on Dreams. Just check it out. Type in Seraphim Pinball, or just type in Seraphim 190, and you should see all the games that I've made. So uh, yeah, please go check that out. It's got cabinet mode. And yes, I will be attempting to put this in the cabinet also temporarily, just for fun, uh, to see how it goes. Just because it's probably not been done before. Uh, I've also got vibration function I've noticed in the DualShock controllers. I'm going to have two or three of them even plugged into one USB splitter device, and I'm just going to throw them literally into the table. Like, and I kid you not, it's going to work. Trust me, I know. I know what I'm doing. The vibration is so powerful, it's ridiculous. So I'm going to open up the controllers and I'm going to pull out the vibration devices and attach them inside and let's not forget the sound so yeah you guys I found a super old amplifier which is great because it's 5.1 surround sound it also has a subwoofer and also got some speakers literally just given to me today these five speakers just by coincidence so I couldn't believe it I was in the middle of filming just now actually and I turned around and there they were um, apparently a friend was getting rid of them and uh, they were about to throw them out, and uh, the timing was ridic. And so they were brought to my attention. Here they are. Thanks. And this is a subwoofer. It's going to sound fantastic. I've hooked them all up, and uh, I have actually uh, got an idea here. Look at these long left and right speakers here. I'm thinking I'm going to break them in half so I can fit them in the table, and that's exactly what I'm going to do. It's actually what I did. And here we go. I'm about to do it now. So that's Mortal Kombat Complete Collection, if you're wondering what's playing on my uh, arcade machine. It's a fantastic game. Uh, looks great on there. Alright, let's get the screwdriver. Alright, so I got the screwdriver. We're just going to righty-tighty it all the way out. No, Lucy. Fuck. So I'm just pulling it out now, and I'm going to break this. Pull this off, actually. Should just... Yeah, we go. Excellent. You know what? Yes, this is going to fit. Yeah, this is going to fit fantastically. Oh my god, I'm so lucky. This is going to be great, you guys. I really appreciate these speakers. Um, just don't think it's going to fit under the front bar. I'm going to use the small center speaker for the front bar instead. What I mean by that is I'm going to have it nice and close underneath so you can feel the vibrations. 
So these ones I'm going to put in here. I'm just going to plonk it down for now before I hook them in to see how they sound. So I'm going to do a test. Unfortunately, I was unable to do a test. Uh, I did a test off camera. I'm using a tablet right now, the same one I tested the music from. So I had a, a jack, headphone jack out from here of my uh, amplifier straight into my tablet, which I have FX tables on there, funny enough. And they sound great. I had it up full ball, you guys. That subwoofer was pushing so hard. So much air was coming out of it. I could feel the table moving. I'm not even kidding. It feels like there's a pinball. It feels mechanical inside. So I wish I could have showed you that footage. Maybe in the next video I'll use my GoPro camera. But I was playing pinball and I had it hooked up to this sound system and it was just insane. Like the vibrations was more than enough. I fe it literally felt mechanical inside. I'm so impressed. I, oh my god. More so than what I thought it would be actually. So that's 5.1 surround sound. Sounds great. Alright guys, stick around for the next video because we'll be getting LED lights, chasing LED dream lights, and we'll be putting the glass side panels in as well. So stick around and subscribe. I'm Sarah Pham. Catch you later.